Welcome to Divided Session. In this session, you will hear lessons specifically prepared for your age bracket or specific ministry. Make sure you have your Bible with you and your conference booklet for taking notes as we start. Let's welcome our speaker for today. Magandang magandang araw sa ating lahat, lalo na sa ating mga kapatid at kaibigan dyan sa Luzon. At magandang maayong adlaw sa ating mga kaigsuunan diri sa Visayas o Mindanao. And also sa mga hailigay nun, maayong maayong adlaw. Gidbla, right? And good day everyone from other countries, especially from Canada, from India, and and kung asa pamudra nga place, okay? maayong buntag sa tanan or maayong gabi if gabi sa inyo ah right so this morning or this afternoon or this evening we will be doing an extension class training so karon nga buntag or this afternoon this evening i am with ati Urcho and ati Angie but before we do that a bit uh Before ta mag mo padayon, let's pray, let's close our eyes and let's bow our head. Mo ask ta sa Ginoo for uh, sa help. Okay, let's close our eyes, let's bow our head. Uh, most gracious heavenly Father, Lord, thank you for this wonderful day. Thank you for the privilege, Lord, to share your word, Lord, and to share, Lord, uh, the learnings, Lord, that we have, Lord. And I hope, Lord, this will be a blessing, Lord, to the high schoolers, Lord, to the listeners, Lord. And that they may apply this one, Lord, sa ilang mga tagsa-tagsa ka-churches. And now I po'y kami po'y yung gamitin, Lord, for your men- ministry, Lord. And also, Lord, may your name be glorified. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So ngayon, uh, uh, we will be interviewing. The, uh, they will, These two will be sharing their short testimony about extension class, how extensions, extension class become a blessing or became a blessing sa ilang kinabuhi. Okay, I will call on first Ate Urchel. Okay, hi everyone. Once again, I'm Ate Urchel. Okay, so a short testimony here. I started teaching an extension class or good news classes or whatever you call that in your church. I started it when I was 14 years old. So at first, I really don't like kids, especially if they're not related to me at all. If hindi ko sila pinsan or kapatid or anything, basta pinsan or dili na ko sila mga kaliwat, I don't like it. I don't like them, okay? At first, and then, but deep inside my heart, when I got saved, I really have desire to teach kids or to be a part in the children's ministry. So more confusing, no? So how can I, kanang nabutal sa ako mind ba nga, how can I be a part in children's ministry if I don't like kids. So I asked the oh, dili ni maayo, dili pwede nga ing ana ba nga ganan ka sa children's ministry di ka ganag bata. So I prayed to God nga Lord please kanang give me love, give me love for these kids and then kanang love that comes from you kay kung sa ako lang gikan I cannot give it good and I want to give that love nga gikan jud sa Ginoo ba that the love that comes from you Lord so that's one of my prayers and then did God answer it yes of course he did kay hindi ako magtatagal sa children's ministry if God did not answer that request sa ako so there are many many ways pero kanang konti lang ang sasabihin ko for the sake of time so there were uh, there are some ways that I I've been blessed by children's ministry. Okay, the first one is like you can, kanang well teaching, you can loosen up yourself. Bito nga, dili ka kinahanglan nga, like serious kay ka. Okay, mga bata, ani, ana. So, pwede na jud ka, like, have fun in teaching sa children's ministry. So, usana sa mga blessings nga kanang ako ma appreciate kay, you need kanang maka go down ka silang level, like, pwede ka magbinata and have fun lang so magkinkoy kinkoy ka sa imong naong diha it's okay so okay ra jud ka ayo so one i one thing ah, akong ma bless ko kay i i like kanang karon ganahan ako nga makigduwa sa mga bata magbinata usahay so like that and then also kanang 
ang mga bata mong good for them kanang fun is part of their learning so and anyone who is part of that process has the duty or privilege to let go and play too so makigdula sad ka and secondly is kani daghan pero one of the blessings good nga kanang na bless you ko sa children's ministry is to see their lives change good and then also to see them giving their kanang as an early age they they kanang hatag nila ilang kaugalingong dira sa Ginoo ba and then by the grace of God a lot of our young people here in our church are a product of our extension class ministry and then some of them nag they are teaching na sad they are teaching in the extension class ministry and it's a blessing to see them like kanang grow in the Lord nagpadayon nag faithful nga they used to be an extension class kid and then karon extension class teacher na sila and so it's a blessing to see those kanang kanang how God worked in their lives ba and then and it's only by the grace of God it's only by the grace of God lang good and so for all of you out there that are listening this afternoon uh, as a way of encouragement if you are doing extension class na in your church you're you've been a part na sa children's class ministry kanang my encouragement for you is continue padayon sa Bisaya padayon sa mga tagaluson ipagpatuloy niyo lang po ang gawain ng Panginoon sa children's ministry and also kanang if you are planning pa or you want to be a part uh, some way somehow sa inyong children's ministry in your church pray for God the love nga kanang love for the kids jud kay it's really hard to be in the children's ministry without that love that comes from the Lord ba so pray for that and I know nga God will bless your children's ministry kay they are the future young people maybe mo na silang mupuli sa imuha so just be kuan lang just continue padayon keep on keeping on what you are doing there sa inyong ministry sa children's ministry and I know nga God will bless it and God uh, personally jud blessing jud kay sa ko ang children's ministry spiritually physically daghan jud ko na learn through sa kuan pagtudlo sa mga bata so i hope nga kaning among topic karo mahimo sa ning blessing sa inyo so i will call Angie for her short testimony okay okay good afternoon everyone okay maayong hapon sa mga bisaya and maayong hapon maayong hapon sa mga ilonggo so Okay, so how does extension class become a blessing to me? Uh, actually, I am a product of extension class ministry, and it's a blessing to see. Okay, before I used to be an an extension class kid, and now I am the one who is teaching the kids now. So it's nice to hear, diba? So and by God's grace, I'm teaching extension class now for five years. Five years pa lang. And since then, there are many things that help me a lot judge spiritually, emotionally, and physically as well. So, sometimes you need to cry for that kind of mga children na nasa extension class and then you strengthen and it will help uh, it will help you then said sa to strengthen your patience dia ba. So, if you are praying for patience and if you are if you want more patience, just teach extension class or so that you can have a much longer patience pa, di ba? So, so, and then, of course, by God's grace na buhat na na to, tungod sa uh, gracia sa ginoo, di ba? And then, uh, um, sh- short encouragement lang is just padayon lang because we know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. And then, for those who are teaching, Padayon lang. And then for those who have plan nga mag teach pa sa extension class, just padayon lang. And then be involved sa extension class ministry. And so, that's all. And I will call, may I call on Kuya RG? So, thank you Ate Anji. So, ako silang tawagun pagbalik. And before we go, or before ta mag start sa ato main topic, we will be doing an action song, okay? We'll be singing the I may never march, okay? If if you are sitting there, you can join with us, okay? On the sorry, on the first verse, sorry. Okay. I may never march in the 
First nga magtudlo sa to ha, about sa mga tips on how to do extension class may I call on Ate Urchel okay para sa iyang ihatag ng mga tips okay teacher Urchel okay thank you for your RG okay now I wanted to get your booklet or handouts that was sent before uh, that was sent to you so katong na ay mga blanks blanks so I wanted to get the extension class training notes and then na ay mga blanks and then you fill it up as you listen to us nga magtudlo sa inyo okay here are some tips I know some of you kanang nag start na mo in your church mga tips mga extension class or children's ministry nga training but I hope nga these tips will help you to kanang uh, mag grow pa more or we call it tawag ani oy kanang mag makahelp pa sa inyo ha to kanang improve your extension class sa inyo hang uh, church so number one mga basic tips lang niya number one is always introduce your name and who is with you and always always do that even if they already know you okay to tell you honestly there are some kids gapon nga wala pa sila kailan ni mo so always tell your name who you are and who is with you and maybe there may be one child that does not know any of you. So, sulti lang imong pangalan, sabihin mo kung anong pangalan mo. Ako si ate, ito si kuya, ito si, si kuya. So, tell them that. Okay, and then, number two, remember that age of the child will determine how many minutes attention you will have for, from them. So, make your Bible story always fit the time frame. Example, if you have students like seven years old, mostly seven years old, so, so you teach them seven minutes attention, that will be seven minutes lang. Kay, kanang, if you're taking so out, kanang too long bitaw sa imuhang Bible story, maybe your students or the kids will not listen to you anymore. Kay, ate, duka na, or kanang, ano na, dili na sila interesado. Kay, it's too long ba? So make sure you do that. If seven years old, seven minutes. Eight years old, mostly eight years old. So you you teach them like in eight minutes attention span lang na sa ilaha. So I hope nga kanang it klaro na siya. Okay, number three, don't make promises you can't you cannot keep. Be honest and truthful, truthful always to the children. And don't make up stories and pretend it's true. Like for example, Santa Claus. So Santa Claus is not true. Mumu, ola na imumu idira. And then don't promise double candy next Saturday if you run out on that day. And then don't deliver it. So don't do that, okay? If you forgot or if you forget to to how do you call this one? Kanang bring candies. Tell them the truth. Oh, sorry, wala ko candy karon. I don't have money to buy it. I I don't have. Kanang, I forgot, I forgot to bring candies, I'm so sorry, so don't make a promise nga you cannot keep, so just tell them the truth, and then that's the time nga you will know kung kinsa jud ang mga bata nga they will listen to you even if you, do, you don't have candy to give to them after the Bible story so don't make promises okay, that's so claro, okay number one, the first blank there is always introduce your name Number two is remember that the age of the child will determine how many minutes of attention you will have from them. And number three, don't make promises you can't keep. That's very important. And then I will call Ate Angie for number four and five tips. Okay. Okay, let's continue for number four. Okay. Okay. Number four, don't let your visuals become a distraction. Okay. Okay. I will explain to you gamay lang. So, most of the kids is uh, makarecognize sila if you have visuals. And then if you, what if I don't have visuals? 
and then you can make your own visuals. You can you can do the action action. If wala mo yung visual, but number four, don't let your visuals become a distraction. Don't let your visuals become a distraction. Why? Nano man kinahanglan, nano man. Sometimes it becomes the distraction. Kaya ano? Example like this one. Okay, when you are using the visual, you do like this, and then you have in your mind the seven seconds lang if you are going to show the visuals, and then not just like do like this. Okay, mga bata. Okay, mga bata. And then how about those kids? Gana at dito. How about those kids? Gana dito. And then you're always facing this way. Okay, mga bata. And then 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 then. How about those kids? Gana at dito. So. What you are going to do is just simply do like this lah. Okay, mga bata, like this. Kita mo mga bata si Adan o si iba mga bata. Okay, di ba? And then na ayaw sa ug take too much time. There is the visuals. Kaya sometimes maayon niya siya mahimo ng distraction. Okay, if you do like this, okay, mga bata si Adan o si iba mga bata. And then ani ani. And then you, they are not listening na sa imuha. They are just looking to your visuals. And then, Hala, ate, nice lagi kayo na. Hala, ate, ang layon. So, they get distracted na. So, what you are what are you gonna do is, you are just simply after the 7 seconds, after sa mga tanang bata na makakita na sila, and then just hide them behind your back when you are not using them. So, and then just walk gamay mo nakaulakaw gamay and then avoid pointing with your finger at objects in the picture okay like this one okay and then mga bata si Adan o si iba mga bata Adam and Eve mga bata and then if you point mo ano sila ate mo din ay tura ni Adan o si iba ate so just for kanang kuan na city purposes ah Avoid pointing with your finger at objects in the picture. And then, okay, let me review. Number four, don't let your visuals become a distraction and avoid pointing with your fingers at objects in the picture. Okay, and then number five, always, always review. Always review sa imuhang story, sa imuhang memory verse, and then, Children remember more from the review than with the actual story. Yes. Basta, na ay, sometimes na ay mga bata na malay tumabot sa extension class and that wala sila nakaabot sa actual na story. But if you are going to review, review and review again and again, they will catch, makakatch up sila sa mga imuhang na story na. So, always remember, do not forget to review. Because mao na ang pinaka important, mao na important tisa na siya. So don't let your visuals become distraction, and then avoid pointing your fingers at the objects in the picture. And number five, always review. So I hope that ni mo siya nga blessing si inyo ha. And then for number six and number seven, I will call on Kuya RJ, so to teach you the number six and number seven. Thank you. All right, thank you, Ati Angie. So let's continue. Arita sa number six, ato ipadayon number six. Always find a way to insert the gospel. Okay, in any way you can, you can insert the gospel. Kung unsa yung pamaagi ka ni bala. For example, Jesus is like Noah's ark because the people who entered in were saved. Okay, ato marilit nga ang when when. When no one nagmay nagbuhat yung arka and then katung naabot ng flood, nisulod sila sa arka and then sila lang ang nasave kaya tungod ang mga tao wala ni tuo, okay? Because many many people did not believe, okay? Did not believe sa ilaha, so moto sila lang ang nasave. So ang ark nagrepresentos yah sa man ni Jesus Christ. If kung imong dawatun si Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, makato ka sa langit, okay? You can insert the gospel in that way. Next, number seven, always give the gospel. Always see who wants to ask Jesus to be their savior. There should never be a time when you don't give the gospel. Why are you there? To tell a story or share about Jesus. The reason why ang 
ang ang rason kung bakit tayo pumupunta sa ibang sa mga iba't ibang lugar at tapos i-share ang magkaroon ng Bible story is because for us to share the gospel for us na maturuan yung bata kung na si Jesus Christ ay namatay ay nilibing at tapos uh, uh, ano ba sa Tagalog yan or sa Bisaya na banhaw or uh, death, burial and resurrection of Jesus Christ you can share it okay so there and also if you go to a place where you share the Bible story and did not even insert the gospel or gospel or share the gospel it's it's useless because the reason why we go there is for them to be saved for for us to share the gospel to the kids so that they may they will know Jesus Christ so that they will so that there will be people or kids uh, will, that will accept Jesus Christ as as their lord and personal savior so number eight, at the may I call on at the Urchel to continue the the other tips okay tip Teacher Urchel. Okay, thank you, Kuya RG, again. Okay, number eight, let's continue. I want you to look at your notes. Are you still with us? Okay, number eight. The silent partner during the Bible story must assist. Don't stand around and do nothing. And pray silently. Okay, so this is uh, talking about the assistant. Okay, if you are assisting, make sure you assist. Okay, just don't kanang standby lang ba okay you are not there to stand around you are there to assist so you must assist okay so that's so easy and then you pray silently especially if kanang during the invitation time of the bible storyteller so make sure you pray silently that uh, many kids will accept or will receive the lord jesus christ okay during the, uh, after the bible story and then number nine use instruments and play it for the singing okay i have here in my hand uh kanang handy ukulele okay ukulele handy rajud na siya so and then it's easy to carry and then if you have like a uh, uh, guitar you can use that one or whatever instrument as long as you can make kanang noise ba noise like going on pa na nagkanta kanta na mo okay i may never like that so make noise and then use your instruments Okay, so don't bring an instrument nga kanang dili di mo gabiton, so it's useless. So make sure nga when you play this one, it matches your voice. Okay, dili yabag kay out of tune, it's batik kayo. Make sure you practice the songs before you go out with your partners or whoever is with you. So use instruments kay it can help you like mag kanang attention getter or kanang you can get their attention ba. So use instruments, ha? okay? And then number ten, smile and always be a blessing, and never go extension class with a bad attitude. And the kids will always remember that. Okay, so I hope nga before you go out, you pray for you pray to God nga kanang kanang iklin imong kasing kasing. You have a right attitude, right spirit before you go out. You pray that you give it to the Lord first. And then, kay it's very bati jud ka ayo kay it's very contagious. Being having a bad attitude is contagious. So make sure you leave it that you give it to the Lord first, and then you go out with a big smile in your face. And then, kay remember ang impre- impression ni mo sa mga bata. They will always remember that one. So it's very very important. And then, kana siya. So remember those ha. Okay. The assistant or the silent partner should assist and then don't stand around and do nothing. Pray silently there in your wherever you are standing and use instruments and play it for singing and smile and always be a blessing and uh, leave your or give your bad attitude to the Lord before you go out. Okay, I will call attention for 11, 12, and 13. Thank you. Okay, let's continue. Number 11. Are you still there? Okay, number 11. Remember that God loves these children. Those children you know, in an extension class. And maybe one of them will be the next young people at your church. Not just only young people, not just only next young people. But of course, Lord willing, basin mahim mo sila nga. Next missionaries next preacher next pastor next pastor's wife 
next missionary's wife and then it's a blessing to see that kanang nakita ni mo nga those children ni mo hang gituduan sa extension classes na himo na sila nga missionaries pastor evangelist or unsa pa na diha so diba remember that god loves these children and also you need to love that children sad kay uh, god loves them so much so you need to have that love sad para sa mga bata so that you can dili ka mapulan og teach sa mga bata and then number 12 is you remember this one i, I like this one okay remember number 12 you are doing a work that will last forever you are doing a work that will last forever okay so uh you're working that nga uh, dili we know that our 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 labor is not in vain diba so you are doing a work that will last forever bisag matigulang pa ka pila pa imo ang edad diha and that those mga mga kids nga imo hang gipangtudloan is maka still maka remember pa na sila when they're a child imo ha silang gituduan about sa bible story and then one day ma puyaw na ka one day ma shock na ka oy ati thank you for teaching us the bible story in our area in our kanang place dito sa sitio so remember that that you are doing a work that will last forever and then number 13 nakaita teach them to say thank you for giving the candy okay if you are giving candy or some of the churches is naghatag sila og lugaw or unsa pa na diha so teach them to say thank you remember this one that you're not just um, teaching them the Bible story but also you are teaching them how to be thankful sa mga gagmay nga mga butang example for the candy it's just a tag peso lang only makapalit kag lollipop for one peso lang but you need to teach them how to say thank you and kanang how to be grateful sa diba so you are you're not just teaching them the Bible story but also you're teaching them the lesson Nga, how to apply si ilahang kinabuhi, di ba? So, I hope nga, nahimun siya nga blessing. So, number 11, remember that God loves these children, so you must love those children sad nga naasa inuhang extension of class kids. And number 12, you are doing a work that will last forever. And then number 13 is teach them to say thank you for giving the candy or for the, or for Thank you, Ate, for kanang one ka sa amuhang place. Thank you, Ate, kay you still have time to follow up us. Thank you. And that just teach them how to be thankful now. So I hope manahimun ng blessing. And then may I call on Kuya RG for the number 14, 15, and number 16. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Ate Anji. So number 14, remember that you might be a product of someone who invested their Saturday morning in you and now by God's grace you are saved and on your way to heaven don't let Satan make you think that extension class is not important okay maybe you are a product of a of an extension class okay if if you are a product of producto kasi extension class ayo i underestimate ang extension class because it is a ministry in the church of the local church Aaron ma reach out ang mga bata and if kung ang mga bata ma reach out possible ang mga parents ma reach out okay so ayaw i underestimate okay and never under, underestimate sa edad sa bata you cannot underestimate sa ilang age because di, it's not your job hindi natin gawain na iligtas ang isang tao it is the ministry of the holy spirit to convict the heart of the chi, of the child or of the of the children na kailangan lang tanggapin si Jesus or they have to accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and personal Savior. It's not it's not our job. Our job is only to share the gospel and let the Holy Spirit work. Okay? And also use the song list if you can think of songs to sing. Be familiar, please don't sing the same song over and over again with no variety. The songs you sing should match your lesson and memory verse. Okay? This is important. Okay, ang ang kaning action song is usa ni one way ni nga ang mga bata ma-energize and makuha ilang attention and kanang ma-tag ma kanang ma-entertain ma ang mga bata. 
and in order for us nga aduna tay nindot nga nga sa ni uh, klase is inahanglan if possible you have a song list sa mga different kinds of action song and dapat you need to familiarize the songs and also if possible makapractice mo sa yung assistant member okay members ba or member lang okay if you can if possible makapractice mo action songs And also, do not sing the songs. The, the do not sing the same songs over and over again. Okay, ang bata mapulana sila sa so sometimes ang mga bata ma at makuha lang attention kung naibag ong a song ng itudlo. And also, dapat ang song it should match your lesson and memory verse. For example, when you are when when you are going to teach about Abraham, so you can sing Father Abraham had many sons. Okay, and also if you are talking about Noah in the ark so you can sing like si Noah nagbuhat og arka okay you can sing that one and maybe mag talk about ni Naaman okay you can sing like um, there was a man i know a leper white as snow he went to the river to dip himself and his name was Naaman okay you can use that songs and number 16 don't ever forget you are fishing for souls What kind of fisherman would never draw the net? Always remember the first goal is for the children to be saved. Okay? Ang fisherman, ang purpose of fisherman, mo ato sila sa laod, uh, sa laod, or sa itawag na, laot. Pupunta sila sa laot, or sa gitna ng dagat, is for them to get some fish. Okay? Aron makakuha. Uh, for them to get some fish, aron makakuha sila o mga isda. And as a Christian and as a um, extension class teacher or a good news class teacher, dapat ang atong purpose nga nung mo ato sa tasalain nga places, it's because for the children to be saved. Okay? If uh, si Jesus Christ called us to be the fishers of men, katong yang gitawag ang um, disciple nga, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. Okay? So, ang katong mga disciple ni follow ni Jesus Christ and yes, gibuhat din sila sa Diyos na fisher of men, they win souls they uh, preach the gospel and as a Christian, sad, ang purpose na itong anong muat ta sa mutulo ta sa mga bata is because for them to be safe, it's because for us to share the gospel sa ilaha so, again, number 14 remember that you might be a product of someone who invested their Saturday morning in you And now, by God's grace, you are saved and on your way to heaven. Don't let Satan make you think that extension class is not important. Okay, money, pwede possible nga, nga bait ni Satan. Aron di ka mo atog extension class also. Maybe ka nang, na mga project sa school. Money, possible nga, nga i-bait ni Satan. Oy, nakay buha to, nakay project, nakay research. Dapat nga, nga na na ang extension class. Pilago na, kada Saturday bita na. Pero ang kaning grado niyo, mahagbong ka, hagbong dyan ka. Pero ayo don't let Satan make you think that extension class is not important. And also use the song list. Okay, if possible mag-make kang mga songs sa among church. I uh, wala ko na encourage kay inyo ning sundon but if you want oh, pwede ra sad sa among church na may sa wall magbutang ng mga songs, mga list sa songs and then kung makalimot mi mo ato sa mga sa wall at mura tan-awon dito, especially sa among junior church. And also don't forget you are fishing for souls okay you are fishing for souls so right now uh, we gonna uh, we will be having a five minute break if if you want to go to the cr you can go to the cr if you want to drink some water you can drink some water if you want to sleep you can sleep pero five minutes lang okay in five minutes okay thank you Morning soon, my Lord will take me 
to that fair land of wondrous light. But until then, I'll keep on walking because I know he's by my side. The longer my road, the lesser my burden, the more that I serve, the sweeter my The longer my road, the lesser my burden, the more that I serve, the sweeter my song. So great was my sin, the greater the pardon. And now I walk and with Jesus I talk as I travel along. The journey here sometimes gets lonely. As we are looking to the sky, but work for him is growing easy ever since I realized the longer my road, the lesser my burden, the more that I serve, the sweeter my song. So great was my sin, the greater the pardon. And now I walk, and with Jesus I talk as I travel along. Some morning soon, my Lord will take me to that fair land of wondrous light. But until then, I'll keep on walking, because I know He's by my side. The longer my road, the lesser my burden, the more that I serve, the sweeter my song. So great was my sin, the greater the pardon, and now I walk and with Jesus I talk as I travel along. The longer my road, the lesser my burden, the more that I serve, the sweeter my song. So great was my sin, the greater the pardon. And now I walk, and with Jesus I talk as I travel along. And now I walk, and with Jesus I talk as I travel along. seems just too hard to follow believers giving up on every hand what god needs is someone who is willing to stay beside the cross and firmly stand i will stand up stand up for the right i will stand my life. I will fight for my right to praise the Lamb. Though the world may be against me, I will stand. Christians, it is time we stand. extension class for children's outdoor class okay number one the moment you arrive make noise to be heard and draw attention so make sure when you arrive in your area make noise okay joyful noise okay dili saba nga saba lang nga kanang mairita bitaw ka nga lain nga saba joyful noise okay like use your instrument okay kids bible story bible story like that you shout so that the kids they will know that you are there or you are coming now and then number two you sing action songs and gather a crowd okay so if you are if you are doing the bible story make sure your helper or your partner is the one doing the action song 
So if you're doing the Bible story, ayaw ka pag action song kay ma burnt out jud ka and then mapaos ka kung sa Tagalog sa mga Tagalog diyan mapapaos yung boses mo. So make sure you kanang assign your partners or whoever is with you to do the action song. If you're not doing the Bible story, you can do the action song. So make sure when you do the action action song, make sure you're alive, alert, and enthusiastic. Dili ka magluya-luya. So, I'm alive, alert, awake, in the... Like that. So, make sure you're alive. Okay, let's sing some action song, kids. I'm alive. Like that. Kay para dili sad magluya ang mga bata. Okay? Your kids, dili sila magluya. And then, number three, make sure you do the opening prayer. It's very important. Okay? Once you can control them at the beginning of your Bible story, it's not hard for you to control them during the Bible story. Pero at first pa lang, they are so noisy, you cannot control them. So don't expect na at the end of your Bible story, nindot ka ayo. So ma mauubos yung time mo sa pag ano lang ka nang magbadlong sa mga bata. So make sure you can control them at the very, very beginning. Beginning, beginning part of your Bible story. Okay? And don't forget to do an opening prayer. And then number four, introduce who you are as well as your partner. We already talked this earlier, okay? And then number five, sing more action songs, okay? Kids, they love action songs. They love singing. And make sure you have, uh, as what Kuya RG said earlier, you should have a list of what song to sing in your during your extension class, okay? So if I were you, you list those songs and then sing a lot of kanang action songs para the kids, I know the kids will love it, okay? Even gani ako, I like kanang singing action song, okay? No dancing, please. So, action song lang. And then, make sure you have a lot of action songs nga you prepare daan, okay? And then, I will call Kuya RG for our uh, 6, 7, 8, 9 for 4 na lang jud last and then, we're done with this topic. Okay, Kuya RG? All right, thank you, Ati Urcho. So number six, happy to get Okay, maka maka mahuma na kita ni happy to get that nine and koto. So number six, Bible story, have them sit. Okay, after ka magsing og action songs, pwede na ka magstart og Bible story and let them sit. Ayaw itubot na ma uh, don't allow them to stand up and to mahuma na lang ang kwan ang Bible story. Okay, have them sit and control the situation. Like for example, they are noisy. They are fighting, so you need to control the situation, okay? And also move your lesson from known to the unknown. Like for example, they might be uh, uh, they might be a situation nga adunay kwan first time, first timer nga student. So and then you are talking about Moses and the Israelites in the wilderness. So ang katong new student wala siya kay bao unsa ni tabu ngano na abut ang mga Israelites sa wilderness. So ang imong buhaton is Mugo ba ka, mugo ba ka sa past, like, moto ka, like, so class, ang mga Israelites, gikan ni sila sa Egypt, and then, gisugo si, sa ginoo si Moses, nga ipagawas ang mga Israelites, gikan sa Egypt, and then, ni cross sila sa Red Sea, and to naabot sila sa wilderness, or, ingana. So, also, dili lang kay, uh, kanang, all, move your lesson from, from the known to the unknown, but, number seven, Review after ka mag uh, after you do the Bible story, you can have a review. Like for example, you ask questions. So, class, unsay 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 gi provide sa ginoo katong katong gipanggutom sila unsay gi provide sa ginoo. Class, unsay gi buhat ni Moses sa bato katong gipanguha ang mga Israelites. Class, unsay gi buhat ni Moses sa katong sa katong river nga pait. Okay, unsay gi buhat ni Moses. So, have a review. Because ang mga bata kay di sila ka remember kayo sa actual nga story. Maka remember sila kung imong i-review. Kay some of them sometimes nag story kang uban di mamino pero igabot na sa question and answer portion especially you will give them a prize. So mo na malisen sila mamino sila. Ah, law mo na mo answer sila and after that you have to pray because uh if kung unsay nakita sa mga bata ila nang sundon and then kung makita kanila nga nagpray ka you as a teacher nagpray ka before mo nag start sa bible story and after mo nag after sa bible story nagpray ka may may, may numduman sa bata nga hala 
nag-pray si kuya before minute start, nag-pray si kuya after minute start, nag-pray si ate na before minute start, nag-pray si ate af- after me nag Bible story. So ang mga bata maka sila and in that way pwede ang mga bata mag-pray sa sila. Okay? And lastly, give them candy in or- in an organized way. So in our church, ang among buhaton is uh a eh, ilahi na mo ang boys ilahi na mo ang girls and we put the the youngest first sila yung nauna yung pinakabata sila yung nauna at saka tapos sinasabi namin na class kapag kayo ay binibigyan ano ang sasabihin so they always say thank you so in that way yung yung thankfulness um uh, exercise nila at saka ma-learn nila and they will have that at they will have a thankful heart so uh, give them candy in an organized way in an or- organized way so may i call on at the angie and teacher Rachel for our clos- closing so i hope these tips will be a blessing to you and i hope you will have the heart na ano na uh, maging parte sa mga ministry ng inyong simbahan simbahan and i hope you have the heart for the lord and you have the burden for the souls especially for the kids okay so let's pray let's close our eyes let's bow our head let's pray most gracious heavenly father thank you for this um wonderful day thank you for the privilege lord to share some tips some practical tips lord some practical ways lord in doing an extension class lord and lord may you bless lord uh, every young people lord that are that are listening lord and may your open their hearts open their minds and convict them and Call them, call them, Lord, kung asa ni Musla ibutang, Lord, and I just pray for them, Lord, that they will grow, Lord, in the Lord, and they will have a burden for soul, and also a burden, Lord, to help their pastor and to be a part in the ministry, Lord, of their local churches. And I just pray, Lord, you will bless, Lord, the entire uh, conference, Lord, even the speaker, even the messages, Lord, and that you will use the uh, speakers, Lord, the preachers, and may your word, Lord, uh, will, uh, ma- nami makatunan, Lord, and also, Lord, may the, your sweet Holy Spirit, Lord, convict us, Lord, maybe sa um, mga sala, or maybe, Lord, adun na may mga, mga doubts, Lord, sa among life, Lord, na maybe gitawag ni mo, Lord, uh, you nakagipang tawag, Lord, and then nag-doubt sila sa calling, and may this conference, Lord, arin nila i- arin nila i-surrender in lang, ilang life, Lord, and bless everyone, Lord, in Jesus' name I pray, Amen. So thank you, thank you for watching. Bye bye. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this OBYC divided session. You can now proceed to the main auditorium page for more instructions and schedules. God bless.